All right, here we're going with the team because I knew some some of you were gonna say, "Oh, I want to watch that also." So here we're going with Papa, with Oni, with Sylv, and we're gonna hit the Demon Temple with Sylv tanking, of course. So I'm gonna switch to a solo defense with Delphic actually since I'm level 73. I have leveled two Delphic together with Apollo. By level 80, of course, we're gonna have more cool skill points so I can have a more interesting defense build. Let's switch quickly. I don't know who we hit. Three area damages, and of course, I don't have one. Funny sounds. Oh, the guild altar is opening, but we are going to miss it because we're doing something more exciting. Alright, so the mobs are done. And here is Nightmare Boss Nemrut, the Fire Lord level 70. I guess I'm ready. Should tell the people I'm ready. Ready, ready. Here we go. We got slow from Papa. Apollo coming from me. Still's already preparing restoration because he knows all the timings by heart. That's incinerate, I believe. I'm not that big of an expert in archer, so let's have a quick look. Damage reduction 30%. So now it's working together with Apollo, it's insane, the boss is practically doing far less damage because Apollo is reducing the damage by 30% and Incinerate is reducing damage by 30%. By the way, if I'm saying wrong with the Incinerate, somebody correct me in the comments, but I think that is called Incinerate. Deep Freeze, again from Baba, he has to keep the boss frozen. And by frozen, I mean he's gonna play slower, 100% slower. You can see that over here, casting speed decreased by 100%, which means we, we often get to attack him twice uh, before he attacks us, which is excellent. So here we don't even need to talk, we got this all ironed out. Still knows the timings perfectly, there's an area damage coming through and immediately blessed healing, bringing us back to 100%. So Sylv is so awesome. We got Santorio from Oni and this is again from Papa who is checking, keeping track of the boss. That the, the freezing, the deep freeze stays on all the time. And of course he's alternating with incinerate, that's his job. My job is to put up this wonderful Apollo shield, which makes the job of healers so much better or easier. Although we should stop putting it at the same time together with Papa, the Incinerate and Apollo. Alright, here the boss is buffing up. That buff is plus 150% damage. And there you see immediately the scatter from Papa. Paparaz. Paparaz. Paparazzi. Oh, Paparazzi. Maybe he was a journalist before. Anyways, here we go. I don't, I don't even understand how this guy can block because he's so big, so big. All right, he's also being bled, so there's a level five bleeding on him, probably from Sylv. But the second it finishes, I can put mine, but it's been on like all the time, I think. There we go. Delphic Destroyer, it's only level 2, well, only it, the max is level 3, so level 2 is good enough. Better than reverse damage for these situations. Although in 3 seconds Apollo is ready and I don't have the rage for it. That will be fixed. I'll take up Brutality to get some rage. Anyways, we don't need Apollo. Of course, if it was a tougher battle, I'd uh, keep the rage for Apollo and then save up for Delphic after. But since here we're going for speed. <laughs> All 
right, wonderful five legend stones and five crystalloids and ten soul crystals. Excellent. Sylv is gonna pop, pop out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So Sylv went poof and we're gonna get Storm, I believe. Storm is gonna come in. So it's all about playing together well and supporting each other. So we're gonna actually try to do like extra. Normally we kill off the first boss, we get the fourth player in. Um, I'll switch to attack. And we're gonna get um, the fourth player in, which is Storm I believe. And then uh, we're gonna go to the summoner. And that I don't have to record for you guys, cause you know how it goes. It's like long and boring just to get the stones and the crystals. Oh, he wants to hit the layer, okay. Let's do it. I hope I'm not in front. Am I in the front? Haha, <laughs> Storm is in front. By the way, who's the who's the leader? Storm is gonna die. Storm is so gonna die. So I'm gonna pause the video for the summoner. Because we're just gonna be grinding like forever. Hopefully not forever. But for a while, uh, to get the... Um, to do all the attempts of the summoner. I think it's like 70 plus keys are needed now. And then we're gonna get... We're gonna continue the dungeon. So I'm gonna resume recording there. We're gonna kill off the second boss. Which is gonna be great because then we'll get 5 more legend stones. Nice illusion activation. By the way, I should take off the deflection already. Alright, let's see. And um, yeah, and then I'll resume, then you guys can watch and see how it continues, how the story continues. So quite a lot of stones and crystals I'm expecting in this dungeon. I don't remember um, after the patch, 70 plus keys, I don't know, like 30 something stones and crystals uh, we're gonna get. Alright, time to pop into the portal. And then we're gonna go for the final boss and we're actually not sure if we're gonna beat him but we're, we're gonna try so I'll record that also brutality whirlwind there should be one button for the two these demons are actually quite crazy if you ever like wanna you know, suicide, just come here solo and see how strong they are. They're pretty strong, especially for knights who have, um, I think they do magic de magic attack and knights traditionally have lower magic defense. Okay, so here is the summoner. 50 attempts, 6 keys. So yeah. A lot of runs. So I'm gonna pause the video here. We're gonna get naked. We're gonna get all naked. Naked. One, two, three, four, five. Not the jewels and not the weapon, but the, um, but the medallion definitely. Uh, keeping these and also to take off the defensive um, astrals as much as possible. So no enshieldment, no fortitude, and no goddess blessing. Illusion can stay. I don't have space anyways um, and off with the wings also or maybe I'll record a couple okay I'll record a couple maybe somebody's interested wings also the clothing can stay so that that's basically the setup and and one good way um, of indicating that you're ready is to hide the clothing so paparaz is gonna start So that's like 30 crystals and uh, legend stones, assuming um, that you get only one each time. Of course, you can, you have a chance to get doubles. And Oni, yeah, everybody's naked, naked, everybody's naked, good. I always like to stand below here so I can freely, you know, pick up the chests. I'm just 
fooling around with the bleeding, of course. Yeah, maybe not so slow. You also get 55,000 experience, which is good. So that's one legend stone and one crystal. And lots to go. So three area damages. That should clean him up. Two left. And next one I'll do an area damage as well. This summoner type of uh, activity is, is really uh, oriented towards mages and maybe archers. Because um, I got double there. You see two legend stones. That's pretty cool. And um, the reason is because they can do Rain of Fire straight off and Knights cannot do Whirlwind straight off when they get naked. Twice double, nice pop. Alright, so let's... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Right, um, archers cannot always do um, area damage straight off. That's why I said it's really mages playground because mages. If you get four mages to do summoner, it goes ridiculously fast. Of course, you also get all this blue, um, blue equipment, which will all go for refinements, uh, for recycling. Sorry. I don't need the three thousand gold they give. The refinement crystals are far more expensive. Have you seen the price, the bail in price for refinement crystals? It's ridiculous. So I just recycle everything. Although it would be good to get soul stones. I've saved up already a huge amount of soul stones. I think it's like near to 3000. 2000 something So I'm gonna look at the September events and see if I can get some cool mount with all those soul stones saved up If not, I'm gonna wait for the October. I'm gonna save up so much until I can get a cool mount Although that might need a lot of them. I don't know. We'll see All right. Well, you see how it goes. I'm gonna pause it cuz yeah, it's just repetition At least I showed you How it is? And I'm gonna resume and resume the dungeon. Hey guys, so we are done with the summoner. And we are off mini boss right here. Storm left, Silv rejoined. Thank you to Storm and thank you to Silv as well. Oni is slightly behind and here we are all four of us. You can see they already made short work of Paparas when he attacked them alone first. So even though we joined in the following round, you can see his health. I mean, he's pretty, pretty much dead. So don't mess with the, these guys alone. Or was it once I went alone thinking he can solo it? No way. They took him down in two rounds. There we go. Pandora box, I think, always gives good things. So rage boost for me. Let's switch to defense. And here we got our friend Yaros. The Lord of Destruction. Opening up Deep Freeze from Paparas. Rain of Fire, Sylph, Lightning, Oni and Apollo Shield. Can we do it? I think because we got only 5 minutes left for the battleground slash tanks and maybe Sylph has other plans. All 
Alright, Yaros is coming down. 58 range. Instant rate is on. Got two mages for healing. We got Sylph tanking. We got Papyrus getting rage and putting up. Now, now both slow and instant rate are on at the same time. And Sylph is preparing blessed healing. Not as good timing as I imagined. Papa is going for slow. I'm gonna go for a polo shield. So it's all about good teamwork and everybody doing their part properly. The Oni is putting Centauria, also dishing out damage. I'm putting on Apollo and dishing out damage. Shield is just a monster, he's doing everything. And Papyrus is doing the most important things. Actually, the archers are the key for the high level dungeons, which is slow. And slow is like basic, and, and then you got scatter, which is also basic. But in this case, he is doing a deep freeze with incinerate. Physical defense reduction is very popular also. I see that a lot. Where do I see that? Uh, let's go for Delphic Destroyer. I see that a lot in Moon uh, Nightmare. People putting slow and physical damage reduction. Especially on the second mini boss, it works really good. W almost one life left. Although he does get angry on, on his uh, last life. Look at all those buffs. Look at that. I'm just gonna put Apollo and have a look at that. Let me just click on Apollo after the slasher. Also incinerate from Papa is going up. Whoa, 10, 10, 10. Wow. Blessed light coming uh, from Oni. I hope it comes in time. Yep, it will. He hits Sylv. So he's got, you can't stun him. We slowed it down, we reduced his damage. He's bleeding and he's got magic defense increased by 50%. So the magic is hitting him weaker. He's got physical defense increased by 50%. He's got magic attack increased by 50%. And he's got magic attack increased plus 50% another time. So he's dishing out some serious amount of damage. I'm gonna put up a shield because this is nuts and it's not looking that good. Two blast healings came through. Whoa, and you took out Sil. This is looking really good. May I say that we have no chance for the final boss? <laughs> Given that Yaros is kicking our butt. Let's see, I'm gonna try to put a pole on. To delay, hopefully the guys will manage to, I mean the hope is on Papyrus actually. Cause he is dishing out good damage. Who knows, we can still make it. I hope we make it. 22,000 Papyrus is almost dead, bad news. And I'm gonna do Delphic right after this with Brutality, that could help. No, I'm out. 39,700. Just total domination. That healing better go through. Come on. Yes, 19, although he hits far harder than that. Out. Look at the health. Can you believe that? Look at the health. That's ridiculous. We're gonna do this. We are gonna do this. I'm gonna forget about Delphi. Gonna go with reverse. I'm gonna start with that. Reverse damage. Reverse damage is actually really good. Um, it does... 8,000 damage. Oh no, sorry. Um, 10,000 damage per 10 charges and you see he was hitting for three hits every three hits he hits that's three charges off 
So one time reverse damage is good enough uh, to hit him for to, to absorb three of his triple hits. And if you ever forget um, how to keep track of it, you just put your mouse on, on here and it always comes off and on. So I got seven charges still left. And that's additional, you know, you just cast it one time for 35 rage, it's not so much. And there you go, 3000 damage additional. Every little thing helps as they say. So one, one time cast goes for three of his triple attacks. Alright, I'm gonna put up a shield. Because I have lots of rage. Although I could have put reverse. Apollo is almost ready. Although now I'm going to wait actually because he, uh, because Papyrus is putting Incinerate. This is going to go for 3 turns. So I'm going to alternate it with Apollo. Because the other time we were not doing good. We were putting all the damage reductions at the same time and then for a, for a couple of turns we don't have any reduction so that's not good so now one turn left which means I'm gonna hit the Apollo now so when this incinerate finishes on his attack we will get Apollo there so now no more incinerate but four turns of Apollo so you do it so I can still take two more hits carry damage hits Oni is healing still up keeping him alive is key The bleeding is finished, so I'm gonna put mine. There you go, another 3000 damage on him. Crazy damage on us. And I reset the reverse damage straight off. So I'm gonna focus on damage, and you see Papyrus had put Incinerate, it finished. In 8 seconds, I'll put on Apollo. Which is basically after the slasher. There we go, that should be good. Oh, I hope it doesn't. Oh, he killed Oni though. That's not good. That's not good at all. Because Oni was gonna do blessed light. Oh, another fail, but we can do this. Well, not right now, of course. But I might switch back from reverse damage. Because he doesn't do the area so often to make it useful. And it's better off that I do Delphic. Because one Delphic will do more damage than, than um, let's say, five, six of those triples. Let's put that on. Alright, hopefully we can do it this time. activated one time darn those things have low chances but some crazy guys upgraded illusion seriously like to plus 16 or 18 percent that it is a serious problem I think very expensive to do though 
I prefer to go for a sure thing and, and I upgraded the will destroyer to level 8 that's like the only huge thing I have the rest is considered average by the higher level people although if you have a look at my astrals they're pretty decent I think still of course a lot more to be done all right so what's going on we got full rage so delphic destroyer is going in he is on incinerate i got 15 seconds on apollo i'm gonna lose 80 rage now that's a lot of reverse damages that one delphic so we're gonna quickly regain back gonna do an auto attack because i want to put on the apollo Oh no, we again did it at the same time as Incinerate, not good. I'm gonna wait with mine. So that one is actually actually was a little bit unfair because Papyrus put an Incinerate and then immediately he went so we lost a turn of that straight away. That's a little bit kind of a pity. Like it's not unfair, it's just a pity of that it happened. All right, we're getting near to that dangerous last life. Stay alive. He is soon gonna buff up, which is just on his last life, of course. I'm gonna put up a shield, I think. It's getting there. Alright, Slasher. Soon to put Apollo shield when he buffs up. Although I'm looking at that incinerate also. There it comes. And there are his buffs. So incinerate is going on. He is getting 30% uh, reduction now with incinerate. So I'm going to alternate Apollo. There, he hit much weaker, although he again almost killed Oni. Two turns left. Now one turn left. You can like literally count. Now one turn left. So that means immediately after, um, here I'm putting Apollo shield. So now Incinerate is finished and Apollo is coming on. Blessed healing from Oni is coming through. That's good. I hope Sylv does restoration. Damn, he did Reign of Fire. Oh no, restoration. We needed a blessed light there. We're far away from killing him. I think he is going to get really angry at Sylv now. Yep, 30,000 damage. Going for Delphic. Unfortunately, the time left for tanks is going less and less. So we might have to quit it. I'm gonna switch to offense. And leave the defense to Barbaras. So with, when he is slow, I can actually do an auto attack and slasher in uh, one turn. So you will see now auto attack. Come on. And slasher should also pass. Yep, there you go. I can actually keep alternating that.
I didn't use brutality because I want to keep it for later. And the lag keeps on getting more and more. There's another double attack. It's pretty cool. Go, go, go. Two. There you go. Slasher. I can get rage quite fast like this. Should have skipped the shield and taken the uh, Delphic Destroyer so I could double up on Delphic and also Delphic. He is on bleeding, I think, all the time. Double on last line, prioritize to freeze. Freeze, freeze. That deep freeze is super important because we can get to hit him twice before he hits us. Alright, soon is time for brutality, ultimate dolphin destroyer. I'm happy to see that Sylve is healing himself. Alright, we're almost there. Alright, here we go. So hopefully, because we need more offense now, we can't survive it. So we need to hit him as hard as we can. And that is not that hard. Darn guy has so much armor. Here comes Deep Freeze, that's good news. And Sylph is alive. Come on, come on, auto attack, auto attack. Damn it. I was gonna type only resto silk and she's all he's already doing it. Excellent. The bleeding is on him. Oof, that hurt. Move, 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 move. Why is my guy not moving? Darn it. Silk is not gonna survive the hit. Darn. Okay, we quit. Didn't work out. That guy is mad. We need one more strong player like Sylph. And it will work. Yep, we're down. Oh well, and sometimes you'll have videos with a failure at the end. Well, that guy's mad. What do you want? He's completely nuts. He's been eating spinach all day long. And look at all these buffs. This is ridiculous. I mean, he's got like more buffs than half my monitor is in his buffs. So anyways. Stop or not. Come on. We got tanks to do. Okay. So let me switch defense. That worked out better. Last time. Here we go. Po potions finished. I lost hope, so I'm not gonna take more potions. Ah, Sylv says all but. Okay, okay. Last try. Here is attack. I don't want to use the pots. Okay, here's a small defense for you. 
That's it. I don't want to use them. I'm sorry. I don't want to use them. I don't have faith. Let's go with the Delphi destroyed and then the Apollo will come around right after. And who knows, can you believe it if we win? Then I will teach myself that I should always be optimistic. Although most of the time I am pretty optimistic about it. But this time it just doesn't look good. We only make it halfway. That is the first three lives don't count. Basically it's the last life which is it's all about the last life. So here we go Apollo the freeze. Ultimate Slasher is actually hitting quite strong. 18k. Pretty good. Good. It's complete mayhem and everybody's lagging. Actually lag is a major part of the problem because Tapras needs to put his, his spells at exact timings and, and he's lagging so he can't do it. And also the healers they need to heal exact. You know, at exact timings. And if you're lagging, well that just makes it so much more difficult. Alright, we're coming up closely. We got 18 past the hour, so we got 12 minutes left for tanks. That should be alright. You only need like 5 minutes, I think. 6-ish to make sure you find a team to fight against. I mean, we'll form a team, but to find another team. Once I, I did a quick join like seven minutes before, and it went on seven minutes counting, and he didn't find a team. That was ridiculous. Alright, so far we're going clean and steady, and he is about to buff up. Incinerate is getting on him. Alright, the good news is he buffed up actually, we, we are somehow doing a lot more damage to him now, I don't know how, but uh, he buffed up on his la uh, exactly last life and last time there was a, he buffed up actually like a finger before his last life, so we seem to be doing better now, as long as Sylph can hold that front. So now Apollo is on, he can hold it for 4 turns. The question is what happens after the 4 turns. Let's go. Actually Delphic is not as important, Ultimate Slasher hits quite good. You know when, when, when the bosses are putting up their armor, you need to hit them with spells which have the highest possible damage. The Delphic actually is hitting with three damages, with the weaker weaker three damages, and Ultimate Slasher is one time damage, strong one. So actually, Ultimate Slasher is preferred. All right, I'm gonna put up my bleeding because he's finished bleeding there, and we'll do the Delphic because still got 18 seconds for the Apollo. And it's looking good, it's looking good, I'm starting to become optimistic. Sylph is alive and is casting blessed healing, he can actually take a hit from the boss. It's looking good guys. Healing came through, can he survive? Yes, I think we can do it, it's amazing, come on Apollo Apollo, come on, Deep Freeze is on, Restoration on Sil is getting on, we did it, we bloody did it, awesome, we did it, alright, 
very good i hope you guys enjoyed that awesome video and the awesome kill of yaros we're gonna run over uh gonna get another five legends from five crystals which was excellent thank you thank you and please do click on like and subscribe on the video it was awesome uh check out my blog cosmos war tune blog google it or the link is in the description of the video and that's it thanks for watching and have a great day